All right, so we got this question from our buddy Victoria, and she says, Hey, I've just found your website. I think it's fantastic. I've been trying to have a lucid dream on and off now, maybe for about a year. I often don't have the time to commit to it for weeks and weeks at a time, but I've been trying to learn, and this time I feel determined to have my first lucid dream. This is very exciting. Anyway, my problem, as it has been in the past, is reality checks. Okay, she says, I find it hard to remember to check, but when I do, I obviously do it correctly. I try and push my fingers through my palm, plug my nose, whichever reality check you're choosing to use. Uh, and the problem is that they are not going through to her dreams. So she's doing the reality check. She's, for example, trying to push her finger through the palm, pinching the nose, trying to breathe, all of these types of reality checks, but they're just not coming through in her dreams. They're not penetrating the, uh, the wall that many beginners find themselves restricted by. And that is that they try all these reality checks, they write their dreams down, but it just doesn't break through the fog of their dream uh, dream self, if you will. So there is quite a easy way to overcome this problem. And that is to increase, not just what, before you go to bed and when you wake up, but throughout the entire day and throughout over your entire life, every aspect of your life, to increase your awareness of yourself and of what you're doing. So constantly be aware of exactly what you're doing, whether it's in your, at your job, what are you doing to get to the next level, to reach the promotion, uh, when you're on your way to meet a friend, you know, are you traveling the quickest way, are you, could you take a shortcut, what will you talk about when you meet them, always be aware of what you're doing and what you're going to be doing and what you have been doing. I hope this makes sense. So try not to be absent-minded in any area of your life. And you'll find that in time, this will actually transfer to your dreams. And you'll find it easier to reality check in the dream because you'll almost be there already. You'll always almost sort of wake up naturally in your dream without always having to do a reality check. So just try and a little experiment you could do is for a week or maybe for a month even. Constant, maybe set an alarm on your phone for every three hours, okay? And when the alarm goes off, look around you and re recall what you did to get to that point. So this is sort of similar to the technique I suggested earlier where um, you try and remember half an hour back in the past. So every half an hour you'll think, well, what did I do to get to where I am now? What was I doing 10 minutes ago? Sort of like that, but just start off with an easier time. Every three hours, okay? Uh, think about what you have done in the last three hours. Uh, where have you been? What have you been thinking? How have you been feeling? All these little details, you know, what have you said to people? How is your? How, how do you think you've come across as a person when you've been speaking to people over the last three hours? And just being aware of these small details, which normally just go unnoticed, will really make a difference. And I mean, because generally in everyday life, we sort of run on autopilot. We don't really think about how we're coming across, what image we're presenting to the world, what thoughts and feelings we're having. We just sort of go with it and, and just let the experience of life take us, which is good in some respects, but in terms of lucid dreaming and living a more uh, consciously aware life, you really want to be aware of these details, okay? You want to be thinking about where you're going, where you've been, and what you're doing right now. So don't, I wouldn't think about it, Victoria, as just a case of I need to reality check and then hopefully they'll show up in my dreams and that will solve the problem. Think of it as lucid dreaming being a gateway to your mind and to a better life that you could potentially have. So it's not just about realizing you're dreaming and then going and flying around a city. While that can be fun, I think it's more important to look at it as the, in terms of the big picture, which is actually not just learning to control your dreams so you can do uh, fun things in the short term, but actually raising your consciousness and having a more aware life, uh, being more self-aware, raising your vibrations, whatever you want to call it, because that's essentially what you're doing. You're, you're improving yourself and your mind. So instead of thinking about just doing reality checks and hoping they'll show up in the dreams, try and be aware of your daily life as well. I hope this is making sense. Try and be aware of your daily waking life 
and what you're doing as a person and try and whenever you catch yourself in sort of autopilot mode really make an effort to be aware and I know it sounds like I'm repeating myself but just really make that effort to be aware of what you're doing and aware of where you're going and what you have been doing so just try, try and see your actions in a non-linear way so just try and visualize it all as one big picture instead of a line I, I really hope this is making sense if you have any questions please email me but so I hope this answers your question Victoria if you have any questions please send them into my YouTube channel or email me contact at howtolucid.com and if you haven't already please subscribe because it's it's really going to help me out uh, and it's going to help you out as well because it's going to mean I can share the latest videos with you and if you're as I said if you're on my email list I can't always reply to you guys instantly because I get so many emails it's just uh, it would take up all my time so I'm hoping that by making these videos and by writing blog posts I can sort of answer many people's questions at one go in one go at one time uh, and this will help, help more of you than if I just reply to every single email so yeah go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching